Hey everyone, what's up? Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about architecture and if I consider it to be a good career. A lot of you guys have been asking me lately in the comments, um, a lot of questions dealing with architecture and I noticed that a lot of you guys are either in high school now, some of you guys are even in middle school, um, a few of you guys have uh, asked me about changing your majors from another major uh, going into architecture. And some of you guys are even working actually in other fields and are thinking about switching to architecture and are wondering this very question. So I wanted to give you a little bit of insight today on this uh, topic. And I'm just gonna go briefly over what architecture is and if I consider it to be a good career or not. And in the next few videos, I'll be getting more into what school is like, um, how architects get paid, so on and so forth. So the short answer is yes, I think architecture is a great career. And if that's the answer you're looking for, then thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. But if you want more information on why I think it's a great career, then here it is. For starters, I think architecture is one of those careers where you're gonna be doing so much that you're really gonna discover a lot about yourself. And what I mean by that is that architecture, when you study architecture, you learn about design and you learn how to design and what design is. And the way that you do this is through sketching, drawing, uh, learning history, you're learning about programs, you're actually using programs, computer programs, I mean. So you're doing so much at the same time that you're getting kind of really good at everything. And it's kind of like the term, the Renaissance man. You know, an architect is basically a, a Renaissance man, which if you look back into the Renaissance, uh, men from that era were pretty much good at everything. They were sculptors, ma mathematicians, they were architects. So that's basically what an architect is. It's a person that's actually uh, not perfect at everything but you're gonna be really good at everything you're gonna be basically like a, a jack of all trades master of none so i'll let you guys decide if that's a good thing or a bad thing but i think it's really good because by being good at everything first of all you're able to have conversations with everybody you're able to keep up because Something I want you to think about is when you're designing, you have to learn about what you're gonna be designing. So if you're gonna be designing a school, you have to learn about how schools work. You're gonna have to learn about, is this school for kids? Is it a school for adults? What type of school? Is it a, a school where they build um, airplanes, for example? You know, am I gonna have to learn about hangars? So every project that you get is gonna, ha is gonna force you to do quite a bit of research on that actual project, which means that you're gonna be learning about pretty much everything there is. If you're gonna work at, you know, you're gonna design a pharmacy, you need to know how pharmacies work. You're gonna have to talk to people that work in that industry to know more about how a pharmacy works. Same thing with the museum. If you're gonna be designing a museum, you're gonna to wanna to know what type of art goes in that museum, if any at all. Is it sculptures? You're gonna to talk to basically the head directors of that museum, find out how it works so on and so forth. So our studying architecture makes you a very well-rounded person in terms of the knowledge that, that you have, but also the things you're capable of doing. Because I studied architecture, now I'm able to pretty much design anything I want using uh, computer programs. I know Photoshop, I know Adobe Illustrator, I know AutoCAD, Revit, Rhino, a little bit of V-Ray, you know, it's like the list just goes on and on. Which brings me to my next point, which is that architects, by studying architecture, and the reason I consider it a good career is that you have so many opportunities to become who you want to be. And what I mean by that is that if you want to, if you decide that you, at the end of your career, you don't really enjoy buildings anymore, you actually uh, love the furniture that goes inside the buildings, then you can actually become a furniture designer because Design is, the fundamentals are pretty much the same all across. So as, as, so when you learn to design, you can basically apply those fundamentals and those principles to other um, aspects. So it doesn't have to be buildings. It could be furniture, it could be jewelry, it could be, you know, product design in general. And it's so many, it's just so many things that you can use your new skills for that it's incredible so it won't ever be like a, a dead end if you get bored at one job you could just look for another job that you could focus on you know I've, I've run into architects that decided they wanted to work only on lighting you know and that maybe doesn't sound too exciting but lighting is very important in buildings and 
you can play around with the lighting and, and not use it only to make the space functional, but you can use it as a design element and you can actually work somewhere like a firm where they only focus on lighting and those exist. So that's something else to keep in mind. Pretty much whatever makes up a building, you can work specifically in one of those elements. It doesn't have to be just the building. There's so many things you can do with with your knowledge. Of course, just like everything, I do think there are some negatives to architecture. One of the biggest negatives is that you are basically providing a service. And what that means is that it's not like some businesses out there where, let's say like an author, an author can write a book and then they just spend so much time writing that one book. And then if it, you know, if it does great, it'll keep selling and it's almost like a passive sort of income. You know, architects don't have this lifestyle. Basically, I'm getting paid for whatever project I work on. And once a project is done, I'm not getting paid anymore. So this is one of the real negatives of architecture that I consider. It, it is a negative, but I don't consider it such a negative where it makes the whole career a negative. I just think that it's something to think about. Now, there are definitely ways around this. You know, you can think about how you can use your skills in architecture to create a business where you're probably providing a product rather than a service there are ways to do that so it just requires a little bit of thought and hopefully you can find companies or firms that can use your skills to create products or some sort of service where you can live more passively and learn from them but that's more of something that you can think about on your own time Something else that I think makes architecture such a great career is that there's so much room to grow. I kind of mentioned that a little bit before where you can use your skills to design furniture or pretty much any product, but also within the field of like architecture and, and construction, for example, there's so many opportunities. You know, when you begin, when you're fresh out of school, you can uh, you'll probably be like some sort of a render. Uh, like someone who does the renders or you'll probably be the, the person who creates the plans, you know, from red lines and sketches and whatnot. Um, but then you can start to move up and you can become the project architect. You can become like one of the head designers. You can there's, there's just so many options because architecture is not a one person thing as we kind of imagine at the beginning. It's actually a team thing. So there are many team members involved in every architectural project. And there are many opportunities for you to play a role as different people within that team. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's what I think makes architecture really good. Again, it's not a dead end career. There are so many ways to grow. And if you're ever unhappy, it's pretty simple to find something else within the career that will make you way happier. Something else that I love about it is just the creativity in general. A lot of jobs that I've had in the past, they were really mundane and boring and just tedious in general, where I was doing the same single thing every single day. And it, it tends to get a little bit of, you know, a little bit boring and it's just not, it's not creative at all. And architecture is the complete opposite. There are few days that are similar at all. Some days, you know, you're working on a project and you're doing the same thing over and over for maybe like a few days, maybe even a week at most. But for the most part, every single day will be different. You're going to be doing something different every single day. And that's really I, what, what I love about architecture. Like even if you are drawing plans every single day, it's going to be for a different project. And I think that's one of the coolest things about architecture, just the variety that's in your job and in your day to day so that you're not bored doing the same thing over and over. It's it's something that forces you to keep growing and keep getting better and just keep learning. And that's that's what I love about it. So that pretty much concludes this video. Like I said, I'm going to get deeper into the different aspects of architecture, starting from the stages when you're going to be in school, what school looks like, what you're going to be doing. I hope to make a few videos on that and then what working is like and pretty much everything that deals with architecture. I'm going to make those videos and I'm going to be drawing inspiration from your guys' comments. So if you haven't left comments before, you can feel free to leave comments or questions and I'll actually try to touch up on those within my videos. I still actually answer most, I think I've answered every single comment. If I haven't answered your, yours, I'm sorry, but I, I do get a lot now. And I, I actually talking about that, I wanted to mention that the last video I posted was about four months ago and I think I had like 400 subscribers and we're way over a thousand now, which is just incredible. So I wanted to thank all you guys who have stuck around and, and have been there since the beginning. And 
the new guys who are joining us i think it's really awesome that you guys are here and i'm really looking forward to seeing your questions and comments and, and like i said i do go back and i actually answer all your comments or at least i try to answer all your comments so if you guys ever have any questions just go ahead and leave those comments below hit that like button share it with your friends you know the whole thing the whole spiel so uh thanks again everybody and i will talk to you soon see you down in the comments